Mitchell Davis offended by this crowd. Wow, the, the ref's already counting. I didn't hear a bell, but I guess this match has already officially started. I'm not sure what his issue is, but he's taking exception with the patriotic crowd here in Markham, Illinois. Well, it's been known in the past that uh, Virgil Davis has had very anti-American views. I, he has very different views, and that's what America's all about, isn't it? Different views. Well, he's had some questionable connections throughout the years. Yeah. Right now, he is tying up with the former BWAA circuit champion, Joe Faraz. Former champion versus the current BWAA tag team champion. Keep that in mind. Tag team champions along with Poot, excuse me, Lee Valiant. Don't call him Poochie. We know. Together. it all day, all week, all month in the back. Don't call me Poochie. His name's Poochie. He, he's got a brand new attitude. He came out here with a new look, a new attitude, a new sense of arrogance, and won the tag team belts in one of the fastest matches I've ever seen here in Vanguard. It might be a record for the fastest title match in Vanguard, and again, he did get the job done. He got the job done, and that's what's really important in the end. But let's go back to the ring. We're rookie Joe, rookie Joe still, much like Poochie Valiant, Rookie Joe in control. And we have the one wearing the dress running around the ring. Now, how did that happen? Why is he wearing a dress? I'm I'm trying to forget that. Do we really have to talk about that again? I guess not. Let's not do that. Let's just say in a horrifying match he, that he lost, he now has to wear a dress for a year. But why the purse? Well, did he have to accessorize? Was that really... The purse played a big part in that match last month or just a few short weeks ago. The purse, I think it's loaded, JJ. I think you need to look into that. I think you have to you have guys, I, I keep hearing you making claims about this is loaded and that's loaded. What are you concerned about? If the ref doesn't see it, it never happened. Come on, Jordan. You got to know better than that. Well, then again. What's that? What's that supposed to mean? Well, if anyone knows well, about cheating. Table that for another day. If anyone knows about cheating, it's what? Say it, JJ. Go ahead. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> How's your hand feeling these days, Jordan? My hand feels fine. It, it's aches and pains here and there, but I'm I'm the frontline medalist. I mean, you can't complain, right? Well, here we go now. Virgil Davis put a little bad mouth on Joe Faraz. Double chop to the chest, stomping on that lower back of Joe Faraz. The one thing I do have to point out is that I find it interesting that as a member of Super Yum Yum Fight, they're always out there for each other, except for Joe. Joe is the only one that is out there by himself whenever he wrestles. My guess is that none of them likes Joe. That's my personal guess. Ooh. Big chops. Chops to the bare chest of Joe. Oh. Rookie Joe forgets he's in the ring with veteran Virgil. Veteran Virgil was the first man to sign a Vanguard contract, right, JJ? Yes, he was. Huh? You the, know your history well. The former rookie Joe and one of the fastest rising rookies here in Vanguard. Big clothesline in the corner and shoulders by rookie Joe. He's getting pumped. Here it comes. Telegraph that move. The crafty veteran Virgil Davis got out of the way and nice. just planted him into that ring post. Yeah. You'll never catch me in that position. Okay. What happened? Why are people booing? Because uh, Vashon out there hit him with his purse. What? It's it's an accessory. Um, you sure he didn't just show it to him? No, he hit him with, 
in a very good way. There goes Vashon again, working over Faraz, while Virgis, Virgil Davis has referee Steve Kane over in the corner, preoccupied. Well, the dean of wrestling referees here doesn't seem to see a lot. Divide and conquer, Jordan. Divide and conquer. They're separating and they're getting Dean confused. Oh, it looks like Verge is on his way to separating Joe's shoulder from the rest of him. Listen to the crowd here. They're strong behind Joe. And that's the expertise of Virgil Davis. He injured his shoulder and he's staying on him. He's working at one point. He found the weakness and he's staying on it. He's got his arm wrenched back. He's... I imagine he's working towards something here. He's working that arm over for a reason. He's trying to set something up, JJ. I think what he's setting up is for his finisher the Requiem, that cross face, it's a, it, it's a, I've been in it, believe me, it's a, different circumstances, but it hurts. He knows how to focus. Snap man, look at this, hamming up for the crowd. Virgilosity. That near perfect neck snap, it works that same area as the cross face, that circle area if you check the neck, back, and shoulder. Virgil taking his time here. Can he get it locked in? There it is. He's got the Requiem. The Requiem. Joe Faraz trying to hold He's on. He's right in the center of He's the ring. He's trying to get to the ropes. Can he get there? He's trying to get to his He's feet. He's lining up. He's up on one foot. Crowd behind him. He's fighting his way out. I think he's done it. Joe is loose. Shoots his opponent across the ring. Faraz, like a fierce lion. Oh, he went for his finish, which doesn't have a name, by the way. And look at this. And the referee Virgil again, Davis distracted Virgil the ref. Davis. There he is again, hitting him with the purse. What are you talking about? He just He's laid that loaded the purse. Referee. He didn't hit him with anything. The Sean just keeps using that purse over and over again. Let's go, Joe! Let's go, Joe! Let's go, Joe! Let's go, Joe! Oh no, he's got it locked in a second time. That's gotta be it. Ricky Joe is tough, but I don't know if it. there's nowhere handle. for Joe to go. He's weak. He's reaching. Both of his shoulders, there you go. Oh no, no! <laughs> This is a travesty. I like it. I like it a lot. Davis is giving me something to think about. I think we're seeing a whole new Virgil Davis as well. Very true. Your winner of the match, Virgil Davis.